In Blender 4.1, we have a new node called Sort Elements, and I'm going to show you how it works. Basically, it's a node to help us to change the order of the index of any element in our object. For example, vertices, faces, edges, whatever you want. So let's delete everything, and I'm going to use for this example a torus, mesh torus, because it will be easier to understand. So let's go to Geometry Nodes. Let me close this to have full screen, this one, and let's create a new profile. First of all, let's show the index number of all the points of this object, of the vertices. So to see the numbers, we need to select this and press Ctrl Alt left click. And we have the viewer node. This node is very useful to see a lot of things. Now we can use it to show the index. So in value, we need to say use index so we can see the index. And now we have this white color. To see the index, we need to go here and select attribute text. And now we can see all the index of all the vertices. If you don't want to see this white color, just click here and disable this. If you want to see it better, what you can do is to activate wireframe. So here we can see all the numbers of all the vertices. Perfect. Now to see the first one, it's really difficult because there is a lot of numbers. But if you pay attention, it's here. Look at here. And here we can see the first one, zero. Then the second one here, one, two, three, four. So it's something like that. It goes like rings. Until the end. If you don't know how it works, because every object is different, what you can do, a little trick, is just to add instance on points. So let's add instance on points. Let's use, for example, UV sphere. Let's make it smaller, something like 0 0.05. And now what we can do is make a selection based in index. And we have to add something here to control the transition from the beginning until the end. So let's add a math node called compare. And here you can play with decimals, but these numbers are full numbers. They don't have decimals. So I'm going to change this to integer. So we work with full numbers. This node allows you to select based in different rules. For example, if something is less than, greater than, equal, or similar options. Let's choose less than. So now we don't see anything because we are selecting all the instances that are less than zero in index. But we don't have any instance because the first instance is zero. So there is anything below zero. However, if we increase one number, now we're selecting the instance that are less than one. So zero. So we can see that this one is the first one. And if we increase this, we can see the order of the index. So we can see that it goes like that. This is the zero. And do this pattern. This is how the index is ordered in this object. All the objects have different orders. So now is the interesting part. What if I want to do animation, but not like that. I want to reveal, for example, randomly, or from left to right, or bottom to top. So for that, we have sort elements. This node allows us to select some element of the object. So here we can select point, edge, face, spline, instance, and change the index. How we change the index? First, let's check the index after this. So let's select this. Let's disconnect it here, like this, and connect it here. Or what you can do is remember, select this, Control, Alt, left click. So now any change we do, we can see in real time how we change. First, I'm going to show you how to do this randomly, how to change all the index randomly. So we have to connect here in group ID, just a random value. And now you can see that it changed. Look at the numbers. I'm going to disable and now able. You can see that now it's random. Here we have 31, 292, etc. So if we disable this, you can see now that if we animate this from zero and more, we can see that now we rebuild 
the instance randomly. So if you want to make random index, now you know how to do it. And if you want to change the pattern, what you can do is to change the seed. So every time you change the seed, it has a different order. Check here, and now you can see that how it changed every time I select seed. Okay, but what if I want to rebuild the instance based in an axis? For example, y, x, or z. So we need to delete this, and now we need to use this. So wait. If we want to use an axis, we need to work with position. So let's connect position. And now, if we disconnect this, you can see that something changed. Look, now it starts from here. Look, before, I'm going to disable this. Before was here, remember? Something like that. And now, after this, it starts there. And if we increase this, it goes like that. Why? Because now it's using the three axes. And it's taking these arrows. So, if you see the direction of the arrows, and you add all the arrows in one arrow, it goes like that. Because it's green, red, and blue. So, that's the direction. However, if we want to control one only axis, we need to add here separate axis. This one. So, we can isolate the axis. So, now, if we have it in X axis, we are using this arrow in this direction. So, if we increase this, you can see that now the first one, the first index, we change it thanks to this to here. So, we can make this reveal from this direction. If we want to use the y axis, so, so this direction, then we need to change y axis. And now it's using y axis. So basically, as you can see, we are changing the number of the index. And the most far away of the opposite of this arrow is the lowest. So here you can see that it's zero. That's what does this node. And if we want to do this animation from bottom to top, then we need to connect Z axis. So now we have this animation from bottom to top. This is how it works. So you can select what you want to change, which element, and then decide if you want randomly or if you want to use an axis to define the direction. By the way, if you want to invert the direction, for example, maybe you're thinking, what if I want to do it in the other direction? So upside down, something like that. Then what you have to do is just to multiply, is to multiply this, just add math node and multiply by a negative number, by minus one. And you're inverting the axis. So now the first number, the first index is here in the top. And it's going down. And you can do the same with the other axis. Now we are using y, so we inverted, remember, before was like that, and now we are doing the other direction. If we decrease this, you can see we inverted the direction. And you can do the same with the x axis. Before was like that, and now we have this direction. So this is how it works, and remember, you can change whatever you want. If you want to see, for example, the number of faces, you need to select here, face. And now we are seeing the number of the faces. For example, this one is 445. If you leave it in auto, by default, it shows you the point. This is the same like point. But you can select age, so now we can see the number of age. We can see face, spline, whatever. And remember to match this with this to see how it works. For example, let's use face. And now, for example, I'm going to delete this. Let's disconnect that. And let's extrude the faces of this object. So let's add extrude mesh with the index 
So if we add it like that and we don't make any selection, everything is being extruded. However, if I want to extrude the faces by the index, I'm going to connect this here like before. And now we can do it with the index number. And now it's doing this direction because here it's using x value. If we disconnect this, it's doing like before. From this side, remember, until the end. So you can change any element you select and then decide how you want to rebuild it.